Hey guys, Sugar and Alan here. Today we are at the Grand, Grand Canyon. Canyon. And not just the Grand Canyon, the South Rim. The best rim. Well, they're all good rims. Come check out our view. All right, guys, we always start off at the visitor center. Yes. Yeah, that's the best place. So it was a nice drive coming up here. Yeah. We live in the desert, so seeing all these trees, <laughs> that's a nice drive to hey, us. I know, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful out there. So park opens at, what, 10 o'clock was 10 it? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. To 4 p.m. Today is a short day. Yeah. So we're here in the month of April. Uh, temperature outside, I think it's about 56 degrees and right now. it feels now. good. Even though I have a jacket on, <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, it feels really good up here. Um, they always recommend that you get here early to avoid the lines. Um, you have to pay to park here for autos. It's uh, $35. And we'll have the prices up on the screen here for you, depending on how you're coming into the park. Yes. But yeah, it gets really crowded. So they definitely recommend that you get here early. So we got here about 930, 930. I think. Yeah. And there was just a few cars ahead of us. They've got multiple booths there to check in. So we got in pretty quick. So you drive in to the visitor center. There's quite a bit of parking right here. Yeah. Uh, there's another parking lot before this main lot that you can park in also for overfill parking. So you can see there is quite a bit of parking here in this main lot. And again, we got here early. When you pull up to the visitor center, the first thing you're gonna see is the bike rentals. And we'll get you some prices on that in a minute. Behind that is the visitor center. And well, I guess we didn't do our research as well as we should have. So the visitor center right now is closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And we're here on a Tuesday, so we can't actually get in the visitor center. They've got uh, little exhibits in there and a little store in there, but there are also other visitor centers throughout uh, Grand Canyon. And again, we are at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Here's all the info for the bikes, renting the bikes. The tours, the routes, the rates. I'm going to hold it here for a second. You guys can pause it and read over that. And we got the information here on the bike routes. What, what more awesome place to ride a bike than the Grand than Canyon? The Grand Canyon, exactly. Yeah, we've been up here several times. We've never done it. So one of these times we're going to have to make that happen. But I'm going to hold it right here for a second. Again, you guys can pause it if you want to take a look at all that information. And they've got all your helmets here with your bike rental and of course all your bikes lots of bikes all sorts of different sizes and kids bikes walking up to the visitor center you've got a picnic area you've got your restrooms This is the other side of the building, the grab-and-go bike rental and cafe. We're going to head over to the restroom and take a restroom break. All right, mission complete. So they've also got water fountains and water bottle refill stations throughout the park. The men's restroom was really clean. Well kept up. What about the women's? Women's bath bathroom was really well kept. Okay, all right. So I can imagine it gets worse throughout the day, but they probably have people spot checking it. But yeah, to start off the morning, really clean. All right, you come out of the restrooms. If you continue going straight, you're going to get to the Canyon Rim and your shuttle buses. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Over here is the visitor center. So today is April 17th. May 5th is when it opens seven days a week. Again, right now, just five days a week, closed Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, so we are at the visitor center. Again, they got a park store across the plaza. It's open eight to seven. I don't know if you guys have your passport books. If you do, you can get it stamped there. They've got some souvenirs and some Junior Ranger supplies. And they've got all sorts of different signage up here. Fun fact information. I don't know if you guys knew or not, the farther down in the Grand Canyon you go, the hotter it gets. That's on one of these signs, I'm sure. 
There's your free shuttle, and we'll get into that a little bit later. They've got different lines, different colors, red, blue, yellow, that go different directions. We will get into that. Some more fun facts. Oh, there it is. As you go down, temperatures go up. These would be the easiest hikes or walks, if you want to say. Most of this area is flat. I'll leave it up on the screen for a minute so you guys can see the times. If you guys want a more rigorous hike going into the canyon, two to four hours, four to six, six to nine, eight to 12, and overnight. So you ready to do an overnighter? Maybe on the next visit. <laughs> Camp down there with the, with the snakes. And bears. Snakes and bears and, and deer, oh my. All right, then over here to the right is where you're going to get on your buses to take you to the different points in the canyon. And, Everyone get oh, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like photo bombs. Over here on the left is going to take you over to the canyon rim, so we'll check that out first, and then we'll head on, head on some buses. We have reached Mathers Point. Yeah, about a, what, 10, 15 minute walk? It was real quick. And look at that view. That is absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're going to head a little bit farther. They actually have Mathers Point, an area where you can walk out. Let's head on over. Look at that crazy rock. How did that get there? Look at this amazing view. You're gonna hear us say amazing a lot today. Sorry, but wow. Cause the views, they're just that amazing. Oh, okay. That's who it is named after, Stephen Ting Mather. Very interesting. So again, look at this amazing view, guys. All right, you guys can see why this is called one of the seven natural wonders of the world. If I remember correctly, I think the Grand Canyon's 177 miles long and 10 to 18 miles wide at its widest point, if I remember correctly. This is Mathers Point. Let's take you guys up here a little closer. No, this is breathtaking wow. views. Absolutely incredible. I bet you before they put this fence up, crazy people were hopping over onto these rocks. You can only imagine. <laughs> would you hop over there, Shay? That's a photo op I would not hop over for. <laughs> you guys know I'd do anything for a photo op, but this is the one I won't. Yeah, that's a long drop down. Look down there, wow. If you've never visited the Grand Canyon, I say you must do it at least once. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's got to visit the Grand Canyon at least once. Maybe twice. Yeah, Maybe true. twice. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's gorgeous. You want to get up here and be as tall as me? Uh -huh. Is there a 
A little taller. Look here with me. All right. First viewpoint down. Let's head on to our next one. They've also got ramps if you have any mobility issues. So you can avoid the stairs. Or the steps, I should say. Look at this view, guys. Wow. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Mathers Point. So Mathers Point is part of the yellow line, shuttle or bus, which again, the bus is complimentary. It comes with your admission to the Grand Canyon National Park. So we're here. There's two different stops here. There's this one right here and that one over there. So there's two different directions you can go. One's gonna take you up here and then you would take it back. The other one is gonna take you down to these different points. There, there, and there. And then of course you could take it back to the visitor center and then you can get on the blue line or the purple. And again, they take you to different points. There's a lot of different uh, stuff to see here. I don't know if you could do it all really in one day to be honest with you. Okay, actually we are on the orange route. We said yellow. It looks yellow, but it's technically considered orange. My bad. Maybe I'm colorblind. <laughs> it, it, looks, looks, it looks yellow. It looks more yellow. But when you get on the actual shuttle, it does look kind of orange. Orange is gold. All right, we just got off the orange. <laughs> you have a pie. So this is where we are now. We're gonna go to the geology museum. Yep, and it's another viewpoint here. I believe it was like 0.7 miles if you wanted to walk it, um, you know, around the rim, the rim trail, about 0.7 miles. Driving on the shuttle bus, it was just a few minutes. Well, we have arrived at the Yava Pie, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Look out point. It better than me. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. And the uh, geology museum. We'll get the museum after we check out this lookout. This is one of the lookout points. Again, sorry, you guys are going to hear this a lot amazing. during this. Yeah, during this adventure. Look at that amazing view. So they've got these little rails here for you to lean up against, but keep an eye on your children because right over there, there's no rail. That is incredible. And up to a second point of view. And again, this rim is all wheelchair accessible. Some of the lookout points aren't, but the rim itself is. Here is the second lookout. that's where we were a minute ago this is what it looks like to come down here again this part is not wheelchair accessible but the rim trail is right up there we arrived at the geology museum there's a little information oh, the mighty Colorado it's hard to believe that a river yeah, carved this out yeah. that's amazing oh okay all right Shug what do you see I'm trying to zoom in I'm trying to get to where oh I see it you see the water yeah I can see it Colorado right. River 
It's like brown. Let's Ready? see if we can zoom in on it. There it is. Yeah, you can see it over there. That's what helped form <laughs> the Grand Canyon. That's amazing. <laughs> Our word of the day. Yeah, quite a ways away. For those of you that want to fly your drones. Like us. Yeah, we brought our Mini 3 Pro, but no drones allowed. Even though we knew that, yeah, we just still. Yeah, National Parks yeah. can't fly drones. But nothing beats a fail but a try. Didn't hurt to have it in the car. All right, the Geology Museum. We Let's have take a arrived. Peek. So they call this a room with a view. And it is indeed. Hmm. Information. Chemical attack, no rock is safe. Forces of change. Oh, what do we got here? Canyon and a oh, canyon. Okay. This has got all, all the different uh, viewpoints. Here's the one we're at right here now. Take a look out the window. Yeah, they say a, a room with the view. Let's take a look. Wow. That is a view. And they've got all sorts of educational information, educational information around the room. And a little gift store. Got some sweatshirts. 45. Well, that's not bad. Some hats. What are those socks? Oh, yeah, some hiking socks. Oh, okay. 18. Well, some long socks. Some bandanas. And we've got some magnets. Do we have a Grand Canyon magnet? Yes. Oh, okay. Books, puzzles. Uh -uh. And some hats. Give you one last view in here. Excuse me. And then you exit out the opposite end. All right, we just finished at the Geology Museum, so we're going to hop back on the orange route. They've also got this handy signage on the shuttles that tells you the different colors, where they're going, to help you navigate it. We've gotten off at our next point of interest, South yes. Kaibab Trail. If I mispronounced it, forgive me. He butchers it. <laughs> yeah, but I did my best. We have seen our first wildlife. Yes. Right there. Can you see him or her? <laughs> Relaxing in the shade. There was another big one walking around. Yeah. It's, Let's see if we can find there's him. There's more over there. Don't want to get too close. No. 
There's Crazy Suge down there trying to get a selfie. Keep the wildlife wild. Yeah, she's a good distance. She's not bothering them. Don't give us any negative comments. Another magnificent view. They've got a trail here that takes you down. I don't know how far down. Sure, you want to take the trail? I actually do. Really? Yeah. Then by the time we finish, it'll be time to eat. <laughs> All right. There she goes. Well, we found out that actually goes all the way down to the bottom. Yes. Like seven to ten miles or something, I think she said. So, eh, we're not doing that trek today. We'll come back. We'll come back for that one. All right, that's it for that stop. We got two more stops on the orange route. Then we're going to get on the blue route to take us to the red. The red route has more stops, and it's the more scenic stops according to the park rangers. And be careful up in here. Look, there's, they're really right there, relaxing. Let's try to make our bus. FYI on these buses, you get on, on that front door at the front of the bus and you get off on the one that's in the middle. We have arrived at our next point of interest, Yaki Point. So they have restrooms over here picnic tables and of course what we're all here to see the Grand Canyon from another point of view hey guys Suge and Allen here and with all the excitement we forgot to mention our membership program absolutely you can become a member of the Suge and Allen travel family for as low as two dollars and ninety nine cents a month it helps us bring all this wonderful content. You know, cruising and the Grand Canyon, Hearst Castle, and all the places we take you guys, it's not cheap. So anything that you can contribute to help us out goes directly into paying for these trips to bring you guys this wonderful content that I know a lot of you really enjoy. So again, for as low as $2.99, you can click the link below and become a member and all sorts of benefits. You get early... Yes early views to a lot of our videos, discounts on merchandise, all sorts of all sorts of benefits. So go down below, click join, and then uh, it'll give you different options on which plan is best for you. And thank you in advance. Now let's get back to the excitement. Another be beautiful view. You guys see that rock down there? Right there. Just a random, you probably can't tell on the camera, very large rock just sitting there. Like, how did that happen? But yeah, that is just incredible. All right. This is run roughly every 10 minutes. So you can get back to the bus stop and wait for your next one. Okay, we just got off the bus, so now we are here at Pipe Creek Vista. And just a few minutes walk from the bus stop, this would be the viewpoint for this stop. Another amazing view. This will be our last stop on the Orange Line. Then we'll, we'll head back to the Visitor Center and get on the Blue Line to get on to the Red Line. I don't know if this camera's doing it justice, even in 4K. I hope so. We are back at the visitor center. Again, this is the main point where you're gonna catch the different shuttles to the different lines, the orange, the blue, red, purple. So also we had mentioned that the rim itself is wheelchair accessible. Some of the viewpoints are wheelchair accessible. They've also got uh, wheelchairs here that you can get and strollers. Good information. 
Again, right by the visitor center, here's your shuttle buses that'll take you to the different areas of the park. And again, they run like every 10 to 15 minutes. Entrance over there for the orange bus. This is the entrance for the blue bus. And again, you gotta take the blue bus to get to the red bus. We got off at the Market Plaza so we can find us something to eat. So that is the shuttle from the front. See how it says blue route on it? They'll all flash which route they're on to help you navigate a little bit better. And we are gonna head over there and get us some grub. That's the bus stop we just got off of. This is the Yavapai Tavern. Thirsty or hungry, this way. Suge thinks, last time we came here, we got some pizza. She thinks it might be at the deli, so we're gonna head over here and see if that's got the delicious pizza. Because we're on a pizza run. We're on a pizza run. So the first stop we come to on the Blue Route, the plaza, we've got the United States Post Office. They've also got a library. And this is the general store. inside the general store. It's a good sized store and they've got a little bit of everything in here. Yeah, I would say this is the biggest store we've actually been in here at the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Seems like a grocery store actually. <laughs> and miscellaneous. Looks like they've got some like cold and flu medicine and yeah, just just about everything you think of. But we're, what we're interested in is the deli. The pizza. I've been talking about this pizza before the trip. Yeah. <sighs> and there's a the line, I told yeah. you, it's good. <laughs> We've got some different sandwiches here when you get in line, ham and cheddar, turkey. Your prices right up there. If you can see that with the glare, they've got a few drinks down here, and they also have fountain drinks over there, which is what we're going to get. And up here is where you see your pizza. Yeah, let's see. What else? We got hot dogs, tacos, wraps, cheese steak sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Kid ham and cheese. Okay. They got a black bean burger. <laughs> Maybe you try that. Interesting. But well, we're going for the pepperoni. Yeah, pizza. we'll go for the pizza. Yes. Hi. Who's been? Who's drink? Well, that's Adam. a good question. But you know who dressed us? <laughs> Me. Are okay. you filming us? I am. Yeah. Hello. If if you don't mind. I don't mind. Do you have to a contract? No. <laughs> Thank you. Home. California. Okay, we're gonna get a pepperoni pizza. Okay. And Anybody No. <laughs> she she just loves true. colorful matching shirts. I see. Yeah. All right, lunch has arrived. Yes. Look at that pizza. Mmm. Looks delicious. This is what Shug's been waiting for. She's got her Coca-Cola over there. I got my Drink of Champions, Dr. Pepper. So curious, you guys, in the yes. comments below, what kind of pizza do you eat? Pepperoni, cheese, Ooh, everything. Let us know in the comments below. And then we'll give you our review on this pizza when we're done. Here she goes. Oh, look at that cheese. Mm. It's good. I've Eat. been waiting for this pizza, guys. Eating it like a boss. It was too hot for me. I gotta wait. <laughs> She's probably burning the roof of her mouth. It probably is. <laughs> All right, Shug, so what's your verdict? I give it five Shugs. That pizza is delicious. Five out of five? Five out of five. Was that good? That good. Oh, okay. Pepperoni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would you give it? Well, I've got to agree, five. Man, yeah, the cheese was good, the right amount of sauce on there. Yeah. Pepperonis were delicious. Yeah, five out of five for that bad boy. My Dr. Pepper, six out of five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It was good. Well, we finished that delicious lunch. And now we're going to head back to the 
blue shuttle, which will take us over again to the red. And then we'll get on with some more trails. All right, we got off the blue line, Hermit Road. This is where we go to get on to the red line. All I can say is, wow. What can you say, Shug? Amazing. <laughs> okay, I could say that too. <laughs> that, that's our word throughout this complete vlog. Yeah. Breathtaking. Absolutely. And again, this is where we're going to get on to the red route, which has the majority of the scenic points. I guess you can say the best scenic points from what we've heard. So let's move on. In National Park and Hermit's Rest Red Route. Please remember, no eating, drinking, or smoking on the bus. Please stay clear of the white lines on the floor near the bus doors while the bus is in motion. The seats at the front of the bus are reserved for people with disabilities and must be vacated for anyone in need of them. The bus will stop at nine scenic viewpoints on the way to Hermit's Rest, but will only make three stops on the return trip. Total time for the loop is approximately 80 minutes, not including the time you spend out enjoying the vistas. Hop off at any stop. Another bus will arrive every 10 to 15 minutes to offer you a ride to the next stop. If you choose not to complete the entire loop, announcements will indicate which stops will return to Grand Canyon Village as we approach them. We are off on the first stop on the red line, which is the Trail View Overlook. And this is the first of nine stops. And again, the buses come about every, shuttles about every 10 minutes. Stop here so you can pause it if you want to read some of this information. Wow, look, you can kind of see the trail where the water was running. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think when we get closer. Yeah, you can see the hiking trail down there. So see, yeah, they're gonna zigzag trail right there. Can you see it? Yeah, the hiking trail. Yeah, I remember they said it was gonna be zigzag. Yeah, you see that little building down there with the solar panels on it? I do not. Oh, oh let's yeah. Let's see, I'll zoom in. That's you guys see it? Yeah, I almost couldn't see it. Right there. My finger was all blurry. Little building with solar panels, don't know what that's for. A little more information if the glare isn't killing the text up there. Incredible. We have made it to our second stop, Maricopa Point. You getting your steps in today, Sean? I am definitely getting my steps <laughs> in. So you guys get them in with us also. All right, let's continue on. <laughs> Hermit's Rest Route, Maricopa Point. So this shows where we're at now. We came from way back there. So each one of these is another bus stop, or shuttle stop, for another point of view. And then you'll get picked up here, and then there's three more on the way back, so a total of nine. Well, this one's a little more of a walk to get there. But again, the walkway is paved. 
don't see any steps. Well, look at the view from right here. Once again, wow. Thank goodness for these rails. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't kidding. That is where we came from, back there. All right, what do you guys think so far of the Grand Canyon? Have you guys been here before? Yes, let us know. <laughs> Put it in the comments below. Or do you plan on coming? Okay, this is our third stop, Powell Point. All right, and how, how long of a walk did he say it was about? About 15 minute walks, you guys. About 15 minutes, okay. Shoot, at this point you start to wear out. <laughs> Let's go. There's that view again. It never gets old. For some reason, you know, when I when I think about it, I think, man, it's like the Grand Canyon. Every every point's going to look the same, but it like looks different at every stop. Every single stop is different. Yeah. It's not too long of a walk. That stop that we just got off on. That's also a return if you want to go back to the visitor center, because not all the stops will take you directly back. Some of them you have to continue to the next stop, but this one will take you directly back to the visitor center. Here's some more information for you to take in. I'll hold it here for a second. You can pause it if you want to read it. Another one here, this one might be a little tougher to read. It's worn by the sun. All right. There's a little more reading for you. Again, if you want to take a look at it, go ahead and pause it. Shug and I were just talking about this. We don't remember seeing this the last time we were out yeah, here. Yeah, we must have missed this one. And this is off of the red route. It's pretty cool. Let's see. You feel like Rocky, Shug? <laughs> dun 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 <laughs> dun 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 And another breathtaking point of view. How many of you would go out on that ledge? Put it in the comments below. FYI, we did not. <laughs> Time for our next boarding to our next stop. Stop number four, Hopi Point. Numero cuatro. Let's go check this one out. Now that is very cool. If you guys hear wind, sorry about that. It's very windy up here. And I know the sunlight is kind of distorting that maybe, but that is red. That is cool. And it's pretty windy on this, this spot. Oh, I can see the water down there too. Oh, you can see water? You guys see the water over there? That's it for stop number four. Yeah, so we got five more to go. Man, the views. <gasps> yes, five this more one. to go. Yeah, this one, man, the red was just popping red, but it looks like the sun is distorting it, so you yeah, couldn't so really you see it. Yeah, so you can't tell. So I hope you guys were able to, but yeah, that was just a really bright red.
All right, guys, number five. We are here at Mojave Point. Numero cinco. Five. Let's get going. All right, let's see what kind of a view we've got here. Gorgeous. Yeah. And it's smooth. It's like smooth. The colors change. Like green. Would you say green, red? And I'm willing to Orange. bet we're probably going to get a comment down there of someone saying that they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> because it probably does no justice looking at it from film. You have to be here in person. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's starting to cool off now. It's what, about 4.30, 5 o'clock? Yep, almost 5 o'clock. Almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> Cool enough for me to put my jacket back on. <laughs> I had yeah. it off for a while, guys, and normally I always have a jacket. Yeah. So again, yeah, we'll. Uh, this is another one of those points where they also have a bus that will come and take you back, back. to the visitor center. After this, the next. Uh, well, we got four more after this. We got I four think. more. I think all four of those you have to follow them all the way through. She goes. Long way down. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, that sun gets in the way of the view. And here comes our shuttle. Or is this one ours? Oh, no, I think that one's for the eastbound, going yeah. back to the village. Yeah, next shuttle. There's our chariot. Yes, we're going westbound. We're continuing on the red route. The abyss. It's a straight down drop, 3,000 3, feet. feet. <laughs> Stop number six, the abyss. Again, the, the positioning of the sun is, is probably distorted our video a little bit. It's a long ways down. Bus driver said, an engineer said it'd take about 13 seconds to get to the bottom. Definitely not something I want to find out. Luckily, they've got these rails. Or I wouldn't stand in here. But if you go on that side, there's no rails over there. All right, Shug, where are we at this time? Monument Creek Vista. We made it. Number seven. Numero siete. All right, let's go check this one out. All right, number seven. I say every time we stop. Well, our two favorite words, wow huh. and amazing. And amazing. We'll have to come up with a, a third one oh, yeah. on our next stop. Yeah, incredible. 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 One. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous out there. All right, head back up. These ones have been like right when you get off the bus, the last few. Which makes it so much better. Yeah, they have longer trails that you can walk. And of course, this is all considered the rim where you can technically walk this whole thing if you want to. But we like taking the bus. All right, Shug, we have arrived, but where have we arrived? Pima Point, numero ocho. All right, let's go check this one out. Let's see here. Oh, look at that. You see the water over there. I call it right see the water. You see it down over there, too. Shook wants to do that white water rafting down the Colorado River. That's going to be one of our adventures. That, yeah, that'll be when it's a little warmer out. 
For sure. Guys, it's really Yes, it is. Let's some water down here. Yeah, again, the sun is probably affecting the view. For us, it's not. All right. Only one more to go. Making our way. All right, Shug, we are at our last yeah. stop. So that's why we're excited. <laughs> <laughs> time okay but we are here at hermit falls stop number nine. numero nueve all right let's go check this let's one out. out this is the last one nice like we one. said this one's got restrooms in it and it's got a water water bottle refill station so let's go check it out let's see what kind of view we've got on our last stop we've got a lot of trees blocking it Excuse the wind, the battery went out on the mic. Figures on our last stop. That is nice. There's like more parking down that way for more scenic points of view if you're driving your own car. And of course, a photo op that Shug's got to get. All right, here's a little information. Rest house, Hermit's Rest. I'll hold it there for a second so you guys can read it if it is readable. There's a bell right there. Uh oh, Shug couldn't wait. She's going for the photo op. <laughs> Gonna snap a few pictures in there. All right. Mission accomplished. All right, that is it. Restrooms over there, they were, for outhouses, they were fairly clean. And then it's time to get back on the shuttle, head back towards the visitor center. All right, guys, that is it for the Grand Canyon. Wow, long day. <laughs> long day. So we were here for 10 hours. Yes. Um, we went through some of the, the stops pretty quick. So yeah, if you guys are coming out here, I would definitely think about I doing... I would recommend at least two days. Yeah, because yeah. there's, there's you know other gift shops and, and buildings you can go into and check out. So there's still more stuff to do here. So what'd you guys think of it? Did you like it? Those views, those colors of yeah. the rocks. How could you really, not like it? I really hope you guys can see the colors of the rocks. You know, if you can't see it, you may just have to come in person. Yeah, it's we'll have awesome. to check out the video once we get yeah. back home. So, yeah, it was awesome. So, thanks for coming with us. If you're not currently subscribed, please consider doing so. We really appreciate it. If you like the video, if you're still here, hit the like button for us, please. And a couple other pieces of information. So... The drive back from that last point on the uh, the red line, the very last stop, yes. uh, it was about an hour. They make a lot of stops coming back, so it takes about an hour to get to back get from back the, down. get back from that last stop. So keep that in mind. Outside of that, yeah, it was just a it was a it was a beautiful trip. We love it. We'll be back again. Yes. All right. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.